Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world famous Apollo Theater. First of all, uh, the band that, that uh, re recorded the song with us didn't want to even play the song. They were like, we ain't playing no country song. Y'all ain't no country singers. And so we were like, come on, just, just play the song. Because Anita and Bonnie wrote it. And I knew the, knew the story. And I even knew the, the fellows that they were writing it about. And uh, so we recorded it. And, and you know, David Rubinson uh, insisted that we make it authentic. So he said, we're going to go to Nashville and we're going to record this song with country musicians. And so that's what we did. We, had, we were on the road so much during the early years, a lot of things were happening that we just weren't even aware of. You know, like for instance, being nominated for a Grammy. And we were like, what? <laughs> Actually, I didn't even realize we had been nominated. When I first heard about the Grammy, we had won the Grammy. <laughs> yeah, we were on the road. And someone said, you guys just won a Grammy. And I'm like, for what? And they said, for the country song. I was like, are you serious? And it was real. It was very real. And from that, we got invited to uh, perform and attend the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, Tennessee. And um, of course, during this whole time, the audience, the country audience, <laughs> You see where this is going. The country audience had no idea that we were little black girls. You know, and you know what? It goes back to the way we were brought up in this church where we weren't like typical gospel singers. We sang hymns and anthems. And uh, so people early in the business weren't really that turned on to our sound because they couldn't identify it with that gospelness that's so typical of most black singers. We just didn't have that thing, that thing, you know, that growling, that run thing. We just didn't have it, you know. Um, and so uh, once they found out, we were at a party, actually, that they were supposed to be honoring the people who won the Grammy, and we showed up in our car, and they rushed us around to the back of the house, and we were like, oh, yeah, we're going to surprise everybody, yeah, so we were in the kitchen, and we were back there for quite a while, quite a while, we were back there just talking, and finally our manager came back there and said, what are you guys doing back here? And we said, uh, this is where they brought us. He said, oh, my God. They think you're the help. <laughs> we didn't know any different, you know. We didn't know any different. And he said, no, he was livid, though. He was so angry at whoever brought us back there. And we ended up, you know, going, of course, <laughs> in the front, partying with our guests. But, yeah, that was quite an experience that, you know. And when we did the Grand Ole Opry, to performing on the Grand Ole Opry stage, uh, you know, they too did not know. And one man in the front just screamed out, them gals is black! <laughs> and the country people, when they love you, they love you. And there's one thing I love about a country audience. They clap at the beginning of the song. They clap in the middle of the song. They stand up and cheer all through the song if they like it. They don't wait till the end. They just, right away, they start glorifying everything, you know. So we enjoyed ourselves. 